Hello everyone, it is Joy here again. Welcome back to my channel. It's a pleasure to have you guys joining me again. How was the Christmas celebration? I hope you guys had a lot, lot of fun. So guys, today I'm going to be talking about viruses that kills marriages. Viruses that kills marriages. First and foremost, before I tell you guys the viruses that kills marriages, I would like you guys to know what marriage is. It is the intimate union and equal partnership of a man and a woman. It comes to us from the hands of God who created male and female in his image so that they might become one body and might be fertile and multiply. So here are the viruses that kills marriages. Number one, spending less or little time with your spouse. Your spouse should be your best friend, your best friend. And you know what? Friends enjoy spending time with one another. I see no reason why you shouldn't spend time with your spouse. It is high time we tell ourselves the truth. This thing we take for granted is seriously tearing our marriages apart. So we need to put an end to it. Ladies, it is high time we wake up and put an end to this. Stop giving your husband excuses. Stop using your child as an excuse. Stop, stop using your children as an excuse. Whenever your husband says, honey, let's go out. Stop using your child as an excuse. It is so, so annoying when your husband says, honey, let's go out. And you say, baby, you can go out. Have fun with your friends. I can go out with you because I don't know where to keep this child. As a wife, you should always have a plan B, most especially when you know that your husband is the kind of a man that don't give you notify on your next outing. Once you know the kind of a person your husband is, then you know the next thing to do. You should always have a plan B. Stop giving your husband excuses. You can get a babysitter to take care of your child while you and your spouse go out. And if you're so lucky that your mom is not so far away from where you stay or your mother-in-law is not so far away from where you stay, you can take your children there, you can take your child there while you go out with your spouse. Stop giving your husband excuses. Don't forget that before this child came, before these children came, it was just the both of you. So stop giving your husband excuses. It is so annoying when your husband says, honey, let's go out and you and you turn him down. When you continue doing this, you are driving your husband out and you are inviting the devil into your home. And when this happens, you will start praying for God's intervention in your home. So ladies, it is high time we stop it. If both of you have different hobbies, just look for something that both of you enjoy doing and do it together. You can go out to the cinema to see a movie. Just look for something that both of you enjoy doing and do it together. And for the men, you should enjoy spending time with your wife too. Not just with your friends. You should enjoy spending time with your wife. If you want to have a successful marriage, both of you must, must, must enjoy spending time with one another. It is very, very good and, is, and it is healthy for, 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 you, for your marriage. So guys, in conclusion, I will say that a shared experiences enriches marriages and deepen friendships. The important thing is to share heart to heart and face to face. So guys, we've come to the end of this for today because I don't want this video to be longer than expected.
so i'm gonna be talking about other viruses in my next video so if you like this video and you want to see more of it just hit that red subscribe button and also on the notification bell and also don't forget that i'm a baker so if you want to book for your wedding cake you want to book for your birthday cake you need an event planner or you need a caterer to cater for your occasion just get in touch with me the number to reach me with is right there on the screen just get in touch with me so i will see you guys in my next video bye